From pots of paint to drills and hard hats. Once these pallets are loaded onto this heavy goods vehicle in Leicester, they're then delivered all over the UK. There's a whole array of products that can come into the building, so from exercise machinery, uh, food products, gardening products. The HGV um, is one of 48 owned by Chris Hobbes's company, but lately, despite a growing workload, he's been struggling to get drivers. Well, I have to be honest, 32 years that I've been here on this site, I've never seen anything as bad as this. We are using agencies more than we've ever used them. And the downside of agencies is um, the drivers can let you down at the drop of a hat. You've got a very short time window to then deal with that and put that right so you can continue delivering to the customers. Challenges to recruit drivers from Europe, a backlog of people waiting to take driving tests and the working conditions of the job are all factors being linked to the shortfall and it's having an impact across the board. What we've got is literally thousands of trucks parked up uh, according to our members, because they simply don't have drivers to take them out. And of course, the effect on everyone for that is fewer things delivered, because 95% of everything we have in Britain comes on the back of a truck at some point. So if trucks aren't rolling, things aren't being delivered, and that's a crisis. And this garden centre has been feeling that effect, with those in charge having to rethink the way they deal with stock. Whereas in the past we used to be able to order products and they'd come in within a week, 10 days at the most, we now find that some products can, well many products, can take up to eight weeks to come in, if at all. We've got products that, like parasols, um, log roll, we can't even wield them for this year. Um, so it's had a massive impact. The government has launched a package of measures to help recruit more drivers. A positive move to help plug a growing gap that aims to get more deliveries back on the road. Catherine Nash, Five News.